Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson Brink, and we are one. Today, I want to talk about just an easier way to get boot videos to run on your Steam Deck. Now, this is a big part thanks to Valve for releasing a new update that allows us to override the default boot videos or animations that they provide, the, the main one. They both allow for the boot and also the suspend. Um, we're going to talk about the boot for now. Maybe we'll get to suspending later. But uh, with that, it's just it's so easy. So I'm going to go through the quick guide and also where you can find out how to get more boot videos. And it's going to be a collection that's going to be added on with time. So have patience. But before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, smash that bell with your crowbar. Now we can get into field trip time. Okay, what we do need to do now is make sure we have the latest update from Valve. So hit that Steam button on your device, go to Settings, go to System, and you can check for updates. And if you're on Beta Stable, whatever channel you are, it's recommended to do this as the newest update dropped a couple of days ago, but you're going to want to just make sure that you have it installed as it changes the routes, the UI override routes. Um, it's actually changed twice. Well, twice technically and so we just want to make sure we're on the latest one and everything that i'm going to show you from here on out will should work for a pretty good long time if not forever hopefully so uh if it does show that there's an update then hit apply you'll have to go through some steps to install it restart your device but once you're done with that you can then hit the steam button go to power switch to desktop mode and I will see you over there. Okay, now that we're in desktop mode, make sure to launch your browser of choice. Uh, mine is Chrome, but there's also Firefox and Edge. You have to install those some other ways. So whatever browser you have, just go there, go to gamesrevealed.com, and then you'll see newer videos right here. But we can also go see all the videos by going up to the menu up here, boot videos, or just view more. This is the list where you can search, you can also uninstall, and this is the recommended way to uninstall or just essentially just removes the override. So it should go back to the default uh, boot screen if that's what you want. So we can go ahead and right click, copy this uh, with, if you're just using the Steam Deck on its own, left trackpad down, press it down, and you'll get this uh, menu to copy. You could also select it with your trackpads on your Steam Deck. Once you've had it copied, you can go over to your console and you can bring up a console by just going down to this bottom left menu, going to system, and then launching console. It doesn't matter where you're at. These commands work no matter where you're at. So now that you have your console up, let's hit paste, then hit enter, and it removes it. Now, this should be um, a soft removal, meaning like even if you don't have anything there, it shouldn't break anything. Like if we do it again... It just says cannot remove because it does not exist. So that's a good indicator that it does not exist there. Now, it doesn't matter if there's one there and you do this whole process again as it will just replace it. So uh, this is more or less to remove it to go back to the regular screen. Now let's cut, get to the fun. Let's say I want to install the Pip-Boy boot screen animation. All you have to do is click or tap this little clipboard right here. If it, it has the green indicator, it copied to your clipboard just fine. We go over to console, then you hit paste, and then you can hit enter. Now to hit enter is Steam button X, um, and that will bring up the overlay keyboard, and there should be an enter button on the right side of it. Uh, once you hit enter, it will do a bunch of little things, and that includes making sure this directory exists. It will create the directory movies, then it will um, navigate there, and then we will download the boot video that is in the Games Revealed database um, to this fo a folder, and it names it properly, deckstartup.webm. So once you don't even need to verify this. I can almost guarantee that it's going to work for a good long while as long as Valve doesn't change this pathing. So for now, as long as you see what you see over here in this console, um, you should be good to go. Okay, it is done. We've we've set it up. We've downloaded. It's installed, and we can then go to reset the computer and actually go witness 
this in all its glory as the Pit Boy is awesome. And now that's it. You saw it. You can now get like the Pit Boy uh, startup, which is actually one of my favorites right now. It's just fun. It kind of melds the uh, existing Steam Deck boot video in with a Pit Boy style boot up. And I love that one. And there's a bunch more in that repository. They're going to have author names there. Um, we're going to have more, and we're going to allow you to also submit your own soon. It, it's going to have a little button there that you can click, and then you can uh, upload your video, and then we'll approve it. We just don't want any questionable stuff leaking into the thing. So we're going to be uh, just manually reviewing everything that comes in and also adding things in. So with that... Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this video? Was it easier than ever to get boot videos to work? Now, I didn't go over fully how you would do a custom one that's not in the collection, but honestly, I want to get to the point where you can just add to the collection and make it easier to just install it on your device. And then in the future, my next set of features, I should say, are going to be essentially creating a plugin. So what the plugin will do... It should work, and I still have to do some verifying on this. Um, what it will do is essentially piggyback off Decky, which is a plugin system for Steam Deck, a third-party um, open source system, that is, and it will take the repository that I have here, make it available in Decky, and then you can just install it from there. There's a couple of things I need to make sure work before really convinced that this is going to launch, but it's what I'm working on. I think it will work. And if you tie your account to all this, like if you sign up at gamesrevealed.com, you will be able to favorite some of these and I'm going to be able to allow you to also cycle through every time. So if you restart it, Decky will load up and I will load in a new one to load next time. So you'll get randomized if you want. So, but those are future features. And honestly, this is really easy so far. So let me know. If how this worked for you, if you like it, what you want to see, I'm going to be having more videos come up here in the next few days, and uh, I'll be doing some announcements and being uh, starting my newsletter soon too, which will include boot videos in it and stuff like that. Also, with that, check out the description below, which has all the links for what you saw today in today's video. It will also have accessories, whatnot down there. And also, I'm going to be having new merch launch today. So, uh, and it's exclusive Halloween merch for the Halloween season. It's only going to pop up every Halloween uh, period. And so, make sure to check that out below in both the description. And also, I think it should be in the recommended area now. So, if you just look below the video, you'll see some clothing or whatever I do with it there. So, thank you guys for watching and Make sure to subscribe to just not miss any of that new content that's coming. And check out my other videos. Peace out. Later.